The Guam Regional Transit Authority services about 144,000 riders annually. Many come from low-income backgrounds and rely on GRTA as their main mode of transportation. However, riders are constantly faced with challenges with the island's bus system as they try to move themselves from poverty to prosperity. Most of the bus stops under GRTA are signs on the sidewalk, leaving those that use the system exposed to the elements. Riders are lucky if they at least have a bench to sit on as they wait for the bus. One rider, John, expressed frustration over an issue he's often faced with when it comes to the few existing shelters. Uh, so, uh, well, it's up there. we can't fit in the, the bus shelter because um, the other occupants that are in there, some of them are not riding the bus, they're just hanging out here. Another bump in the road is the need for more GRTA vehicles. Currently, there are only 26 buses and vans serving the entire island. GRTA Director Selma Balta aims to double that number by the end of 2022. With more buses, we'll be able to provide a more safe and reliable uh, transit operations. Improving the island's public transit system will yield positive results not only for riders, but for the entire community. He explains how reliable transportation and a thriving economy are intertwined. We have an 11% unemployment rate. We have an almost 25% poverty rate. Let's face it, we have a lot of people out there who, um, because of no transportation, no reliable transportation, can't find and can't keep jobs. Upgrading and modernizing operations would lead to a boosted economy, but that's not all. About to details how it could also lower crime rates. When we bring people to work, they get employed, uh, they're going to hopefully uh, stray away from committing crimes. So there's a tremendous need to improve transit, transit um, you know, operations. Earlier this year, GRTA was awarded $9.5 million that will be used to purchase electric vehicles and charging stations. The island can begin seeing electric vehicles on the road as early as 2022 to 2023. He also revealed that the agency will receive $11 million under the bipartisan infrastructure bill. This will go toward purchasing more electric buses and 55 typhoon-proof shelters around the island. Babalta took over operations in 2019 and explained that he takes the personal responsibility of applying for every grant he can. As we recall, their FY21 budget was cut by $300,000, leaving them to work with just $2.9 million. He says it's not an overnight trip, but the agency is being diligent to make things better for riders. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Tyler Matanani.